guitar and excel open chords c major scale g major chord worksheet get ready because it's time for our guitar skills to excel here we are in excel if you don't have access to this workbook that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet but we started in a prior presentation so if you want to build this from a blank worksheet you may want to begin back there however you don't necessarily need access to this workbook if looking at this from a music theory standpoint because we will simply use it as a tool to map out the fretboard, give us the scale and chords that we're focused in on. If you do have access to this workbook though, there's currently four tabs down below, three example tabs and one OG tab. The OG tab representing the original worksheet we put together in a prior section, it now acting as our starting point, showing the entire fretboard giving us the entire musical alphabet in both letters and absolute numbers showing the worksheet and the key allowing us to then change between scales giving us our worksheet for the scales and chords that are constructed from it on the right now in prior presentations we've been focusing in on the c major scale and looking at the chords in the C major scale and we started with of course the chord of C which is in this first example tab we hid all of the fretboard except for the open position which I'm defining as the first three frets we mapped out the key of C showing the one in green the three in uh, red and the five in yellow we talked about the fingering we talked about the positions we talked about it on top of the pentatonic scale it on top of the major scale and so on we then moved to the four chord in the key of c remembering that we're still in the key of c we're mapping everything out in the key of c but this time building the four chord which happens to be an F major chord. We then constructed that in open position, remembering that in this, in one sense, it is an open chord because it's being played in the first three frets, but in another sense, it's kind of, it's a bar chord, uh, but we constructed it here. We talked about it in relation to the pentatonic scale for the C major uh, scale, because we constructed it from the C major scale and we're mapping it out in accordance with the C major scale. We then looked at it in, in alignment to the C major scale for the pentatonic. This was the pentatonic, and this is the full C major scale. And now we're going to do a similar kind of process for the chord of a G major. So now this is what we're going to do this time. We're going to copy over the OG tab and construct this one. Now the, we moved this time to the fifth remember that we skipped the second and the third we will go back to them why are we going to the fifth same reason as why we went to the fourth uh, instead of going to the second note first and that's because the one uh, four five as you can see by the lettering here in uppercase in greek uh, letters or numbers are the major scale constructions so when we construct from a major scale c major when we build off of the one, four, five, we end up with a major chord and those will be related to each other. So it's useful to think about them together. So then we'll map out the shape. We'll map out the shape on top of the pentatonic scale. Again, the pentatonic scale in the key of C major. And then we'll map out the full C major scale and our shape within it. We'll put the two together and then we'll contrast that to if we were going to construct this in the key of uh, or or then we'll take a look at the shape and how it could be movable and then we will contrast what we have done to us constructing the g major uh, shape or chord if it was the one chord and a scale of g major instead of the scale of c major so we'll talk about all that as we go forward this time we're just going to kind of construct the worksheet so i'm going to go to the og tab here's our og tab i'm just going to copy it over i'm going to hold down control left click on the og and then drag it to the right and then i'm going to double click on it down here and call this i'm going to call it blank uh g and then i'm going to right click down here and make it white so the one we're working on will be white all right, and then in our key up top, I'm going to change it to the key of C again. Now, note, you might think I should have it on an 11, the key of G, because we're focused on the G chord. 
but we're not constructing the G chord from the G major scale. We're constructing it from the C scale and we're mapping out the C scale. So I still want it in the key of C. We're still on the C major scale, but we're going to look at the four chord. Uh, I'm sorry, the five chord, which is going to be uh, the G. All right, now that we have that, I'm going to hold down control and scroll down a little and I'm just going to gonna let's first get rid of this conditional formatting i don't want i don't need that yet because we'll do our own formatting home tab style dropping it down clearing the rules and then i'll copy from one down to uh down to 25 so i'm just copying down to the end of this worksheet i'm going to copy that over paste it on top of all the ones below it because the ones below it were mapped out to show the modes I don't want the modes. I just want to redo the same thing over and over again, focusing in on the key of C over and over, but from different angles. So we'll just paste this on down, paste it on down, paste it on down, paste it on down. Okay, so now we have our framework. I'm going to I'm going to now look I don't want to look at it in terms of numbers. So I'm going to hide from 1 to 12 right click and hide all that stuff so now i can just see my fretboard with the letters and the numbers on it and then i'll make this small and i'll say okay now let's hide from open position one to three frets and get rid of all the other frets so they don't confuse us at least at first and then hide okay and then there's our process so let's zoom in and check it out let's zoom in and check it out we're going, we're going in with the zoom and out with the checking. So we'll, we'll zoom in and then check it out. All right. So we're going to say this is going to be the five right there. And then, okay. And then let's go to the shape fill and say it's a yellow fill. Okay. So first what we'll do is we'll just map, we'll just uh, map out this shape. Now, just a quick note, once again, we're building a C, a G major chord. I know it's a G major chord because when I constructed it, even though I constructed it from the C uh, major scale, I constructed it from here and just picked every other note, which is a B and then a D. And I know because I constructed it from the fifth position of a C major scale, it will construct an interval that corresponds to a, a major chord instead of a minor. In other words, the third is four notes away uh, as opposed to the two and the three which will be minor chords which will third will be three notes away if i was to compare it to the g over here in the og tab if i constructed this using an 11 a g then you can see that when i think about the notes in the chord i think about the one three five if it was the one chord one three five of the key of g would be g b d or g here b d those are the same notes we got over here, G, B, D, but we constructed them starting from the five note of the key of C. Okay, we'll talk more about that later, but I just want to point that out now here because we're focusing in. You want to keep in mind that we're always focusing in on all the notes that are in and constructed from the key of C, even though we're on a G major chord. Okay, enough, enough. Let's go to the home tab. Let's go to conditional formatting and say this is going to be equal to a G, and I'm going to make that green. That's our home key. That's our tonic. That's our root note. And we're going to hit the drop down again and say the next one is going to be a B. That's the major third, four note away, major third. Let's make it red. It's red. Possibly you can think of it because of its the differential or key factor between a major and a minor. So that's going to be your third is the important one. Is it a major third or minor third? Is it three notes away or is it four notes away? And then I'm going to say this is going to be our yellow fifth. And it's going to be the same either way. The, the, the fifth just goes along with whatever. If it's, a, if it's a major or minor, it's like whatever. I'm cool with you, either one. So there we have it. So this is our standard shape. This is a classic open uh, uh, G shape, big full chord, having all six strings. We'll, we'll talk about different ways you can finger it. There's arguments as to what's the best fingering way to do it. And you can see that we could build it with just these three notes, which is useful to be able to see because that's a classic uh, uh, formatting of a major formatting, which is, of course, movable. You can see it's kind of related to an A kind of position over here, which we'll see when we get to a 
uh, the caged system, because this kind of looks like an A kind of position here, although they're all in the open uh, thing. That's what you would finger in an A, but you would be doing it over here, right? And then these two, you have the choice of should I finger one of, or both of those and how should I do that? We'll talk more about that later, but that's your classic uh, G open position shape. All right, let's scroll down and now lay that on top of the pentatonic position. So, and let's think about that. So I'm going to scroll out a bit. I'm going to hide the numbered ones again, going from here to here. I don't want the numbered ones. Right click and hide those. And so then I'm going to hold control and scroll back out again. So this time you'll recall that if I'm looking at the key of C, the pentatonic scale is five notes out of the seven and they are the one, two, three, uh, five, and six. I'm going to make those home tab font group green. Now, remember that I'm looking at the pentatonic scale this time in the key of C because that's what we constructed the, the, G, the G chord from. You could think about switching entirely to the G chord, and we'll take a look about what that would look like later. That's your choice when you're moving from the one chord to the five chord. Like if you're noodling around within the five chord, you could pick up notes that are outside the C scale, but in the G scale, making it sound more G-ish, scale-ish, right? Or you can add notes and noodle around with it, adding notes that are in the C scale, making it more sound more in alignment with the key that you're in, which is the key of C. Okay. Uh, or you can try to make it the tonic, where you're making it the tonic, uh, even though you're playing the C notes, which means you're going to be playing in a different mode. But we'll talk more about that later. Let's go ahead and grab these. I'm going to add the pentatonic scale first. Remember, it's the C pentatonic scale, not the G pentatonic scale. Home tab, let's say equals, and let's pick up the C. And I'm going to make these green. So pentatonic green. And then I'm going to say, boom, this is going to be equal to a D. And I'm going to make that green. That's going to be green, boom, boom. And then we're going to say this is going to be equal to an E. We're going to make that green, boom, boom, boom. And then this is going to be equal to the G. I'm going to make that green, boom, boom. Oh, not that green, wrong green. This is going to be uh, G. I'm going to make it, I will make it that green, but later. I subconsciously went forward. I'm getting ahead of myself. I put the the cart before the horse, which I still think the horse should be able to push the cart with his big head, with his giant head up the hill. That might be a better, I feel like that might even be a better way to put the cart in front of the horse and tell it to push the cart with its head. Anyways, this is this is the shape then that this is the shape that we've seen in the past. And now this is the C major pentatonic. And now I'm going to put the the G chord on top of it uh, that we constructed from the C. Now note that these three notes are in the C major chord because we constructed it from C major, but they're not necessarily all in the C pentatonic, meaning this B in particular is not. I can see it right there, right? I can see that clearly. That is not in the pentatonic. So when I, if I was to kind of noodle around with this thing, uh, then I would have to note that the, the, the B here, when I go, if I was just doing the pentatonic is not in here. There's the other one. I was like, where's the other one right there and see that. Okay. In any case, so let's go ahead and select these and then I'll, I'll add these on top of it. So I'm going to say, this is our scale that we're working it on. This is going to be this one. This I'm going to make the other green. This is where I put it, the other green now. So now it's that green. Hopefully that's not too confusing. And then I'm going to say this is going to be the, this one is red, red. And then this one is going to be uh, the yellow, the yellow as has been our formatting. And then I'll just conditional format this here green. This is the red one and this is the yellow. So, so now you could see the pentatonic scale and then adding that B note if, you, if to get the G fitting on top of it. So now let's do the same thing, but with the whole C major scale. Well, hold on. I need to delete the numbered ones. We don't want the numbered ones. So I'm going to go from here to here. I'll hide this worksheet. 
right click and hide and then I'm gonna go up top okay here we go let's do it again but this time with the whole scale in open position of the C major scale and then we'll put our five note on top of it so I'll select the whole thing I'm gonna say alright let's do this this time I'm just gonna build the C major scale that and this is the scale that we constructed this chord from so all of the notes in the chord have to fit within this scale for sure right so we got the C and then we're gonna say this is gonna be blue I'm just gonna make them all blue this time and then I'll put the chord on top of it so I'll make the D that's gonna be blue blue and then I'm gonna say okay and then like the E is gonna be blue blue this is not the blue note by the way in the blue scale just want to differentiate to that I would like to get to the blues stuff later because it really uh, it's actually quite confusing people try to say the blues thing is easier but if you try to figure out what they're actually doing it's like what in the world how does that work so it's a little uh, it's definitely not easy but here we go and then we're gonna say this is this one and this is gonna be equal to this one all right so there's our there's our our uh, scale so you can start to see that if you wanted to play just the scales right and this is the C major open position scale uh, I would call it scale position number four but some people will use that C as like the root to kind of name the scale around that uh, position so then I'm gonna put on top of that then the C or, or the G uh, chord that we constructed in here so I'm gonna say this is gonna be the G let's put that as the green and then that's our the root or the tonic here's the red for the third and here's the D and that's gonna be the yellow so there we have it and then I'll conditional format this over here just to finish this out and we'll look more deeply at this later but let's just set up our worksheet and prep this is the prep work you get to see the behind the scenes prep work for the next one all right so there we have it now next just to completely confuse ourselves let's scroll back a bit and say what if I put those three together and I try to I try to put the pentatonic on top and, and then so let's hide these first before we start talking about that cart before the horse cart before the horse okay okay here we go we're gonna say then let's now this time we'll we'll construct the pentatonic and then we'll put the the other one so I'm gonna say the pentatonic are these three notes or five notes five notes penta pentatonic all right so then we're gonna construct uh, on I'm gonna try to build everything on top of each other so let's say the foundation is once again the C the, the the C major and then I'll put the pentatonic on top of it so you can see how the pentatonic fits in the C major and then I'll put the the chord on top of that so I'm gonna say all right let's do the same thing we did last time this equals the the C let's make them all blue first blue boom boom let's copy this thing down here because I'm focused on that'll tell me where my focal point is on the five chord all right let's do that again so we'll just first put just build our C major in open position again there's the D I'll make that blue make it blue my brown eyes her brown eyes are blue <laughs> gonna make this blue I don't know I'm getting tired here let's let's make that blue and then we're gonna say this one is gonna be blue and boom boom and then this one did I have a G yet no let's make that blue boom 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 and then we'll make this one a blue and then boom 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 
And then Uno Vase Moss one more time. Por favor. Please. Okay. So there's our there's our major uh, scale again. And so now I'm going to put on top of it the pentatonic scale so we can see how that fits in. Remember, we're in the key of C, not the key of G, even though we'll then put the G chord on top of it, which we constructed from the key of C. So now I'm going to say this is going to be the pentatonic is going to replace some of the blue ones. Let's make that one green. Boom, boom. And then let's make this one. Uh, this one, the, the D is a pentatonic type. Undo though, because it shouldn't be red. It should be green. Pentatonic green. D. Boom. 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 And then we'll say this is going to be this one's in the pentatonic so we'll say okay now the four is not in the pentatonic as we saw last time when we looked at the f chord so we skip that one but this one is in the pentatonic and so we'll say dune the pentatonic is the cool club with all the cool notes are in it and they just leave out the four and the seven because for they're just mean they're mean like that they're like high schoolers or something. And so there we go. So now you've got the pentatonic. And yeah, that looks right. And then when I put this one on top, remember that this note is is in the chord, but it's not in the pentatonic, although it is in the major because we constructed this chord not from the G major scale, in that case, the chord would be inside the, both the pentatonic and the major, but in this case, we constructed it from the C. So, so let's just keep that in mind as now I put this one on top and I go, okay, this is going to be this one. That's going to be a G. Uh, let's make it, let's make it green and then boom. And then this one is going to be, that one is red and then boom. This one is the D and it's going to, Actually, it's going to be yellow. Yeah, that's how we do it. And then boom. So now I can, f let's format that over here. So, so it looks kind of chaotic once constructed, but hopefully the construction of it maybe uh, did something useful for understanding purposes. All right, so next, let's do another one down here. This time, I'd like to see it uh, as though we're going to map out uh, the, the relative position shapes. So let's just see this again. I'm going to go, okay, let's hide from here to here and then right click and hide. And so, and then now, uh, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is going to be, is going to be, let's see some more of the fretboard. So I'm going to, I'm going to open up the fretboard. I'm going to go from D to AK, right click and unhide. And then I want to see the fretboard out to like the 13th fret. So it starts over at 12, but I'm going to go out to 13. And then I'm going to hide over here, right click and hide. Okay. So now what I'd like to do is think about if I'm starting on the five right here. And then, and then I try to move that shape because that shape is mover, movable, right? And I can move it up to the other to the other ones that are that are major. So that would be the one and that would be the uh, four. So let's do that and just think about what that would look like. I wanna put this on top. Oh man, okay. So, so now I could say, okay, if I was in positions one, through three, then, then I could say that would be our normal G shape, right? I'm going to say, all right, there's our G shape. I can say, let's go uh, do this again. Insert this one is a G. I'm going to make it green. Okay. And then this one is a B. It's red. And then this one is going to be a D and it's going to be yellow. 
Okay. And then I can't really move back to the four because I'm at the nut, right? I can't go backwards. So if I go up around the horn, going doo -doo -doo -doo, around the horn to the one, then now I'm back to a C. So you'd think I can move this up until I get to a C. I'm looking at this G right here, and I'm going to move it up till I see a C on that string. There's a C. So I'm going to say, all right, what if I move that position up right here? Then I can play this same shape. And, and or let's first uh, make these colorful. I need to have these nicely colored. Uh, for, so let's do that first. Okay, so then, so now if I move it up to here, I can say, okay, so then if I move this shape up, I should be able to play the relative one position with that same shape, right? Which are going to be these three notes. So I'm going to say, okay, insert, and that's going to be the C is going to be uh, green, and then the this is equal to the E, which is red, and this is equal to the G, which is going to be yellow. So there we have it. Now note, you have the same shape here, but now instead of playing a, a G, you would be playing a C. Now, a lot of people will say, well, you can't really do that because I can't play an open G up here. It's gonna be difficult to play, but you don't have to play all six strings, right? You could just play these strings right here and you'd be and you'd play in the same shape. You could just play these three strings. We'll talk about that later. This is kind of like an A shape because the A and the G are next to each other. When we talk about the cage system, we'll talk about that later. But, you know, you could, you could play, you know, some combination down here. These are on the, on the same string, but you, you know, you could do some combination. And so, so that's useful to note. And then if I was up here at the one, I can move that up to the four, right? So I could move it up to the four if I was here and go, go. So I'm looking at the four starts as an F. So this C, when I go to an F, there's an F. So if I move that same shape right there, uh, then maybe I should have this on. Um, oh, come on. Come on. I want to include the, uh, the frets in my analysis. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. All right. So there we have, so then we can do these ones. So we can move it up here. Now this is going past the 12th fret. So we start to start over on the 13, but then it just starts over, right? So we can do that if we wanted to. So we're going to say, okay, this is going to be equal to the, the F is green and then boom. And then the next one is going to be an A and it's red. And then the next one is going to be a C and it is yellow, like old yellow the dog that died in that sad movie that they made me watch in grade school. Why do you do that? Why are you forcing me to watch the dog die? I had another one like where they made the dog die. Two sad dog dying movies that tor when they tortured you in uh, grade school. Anyways, whatever. This is going to be an F this is going to be the a is red uh, uh the a here is red and then the c is there so you can see you can move that shape up if you and and when you and we'll talk more about that later right you because you could still think of the c as the tonic you could move from c to g and then move the g up to the eighth position so that you're basically playing another C, right? There's another way to play the C and then you can move it up to the F or you can start to think of the fifth as the tonic, even though you're playing all the notes in the key of C and you can play these positions and then you would basically be playing in a different mode. We'll talk more about that later, but you can practice moving this shape around if you wanted to. We'll talk more about, you know, how to do that in future presentations. We're focused on the first three frets right now, but just want to introduce that idea and we'll talk more about it in the next couple ones. Now, the next one I, I wanted to do is to just say, well, what if I changed the key? So let's hide some cells first. Let's hide some cells. And then we'll talk about that. Another extremely interesting topic and important to, the, to everyone. So let's go ahead and hide uh, these. 
and then I'm gonna unhide the key up top. So I'm gonna go from N to AK, right, oh man, I missed it. N to AK, right click and unhide. And then I'm gonna go into my key and say, well, what if by contrast, I constructed all this stuff in the key of G? So I'm gonna change my key to an 11, which now shows me my worksheet, now not in the key of C, but in the key of G. What if we did that then? All right, let's check it out. So then I can I can go back up top and let's hide from uh, from uh, the the O thirteenth fret to our worksheet on the right. Right click and hide, and then I'm going to hide the numbered ones up top. So I'm going to go from the here one twenty eight down to here. Don't need that. Right click and hide. Okay, so now. Let's let's build this as though we're we're at, we're looking at it in the key of G now. So now the G is the one. So I'll say copy, paste. The G uh, uh, the G is now the one. And if I just if I plot it out as the one, it's going to be the same. It's just that now we constructed it from the one and picked every other note one three uh, five one three five and of course we get the same intervals so it's the same chord so we're gonna say all right let's do that let's say uh uh but but first before i plot that it'll look the same let's plot the whole major scale here this time in the key of g instead of the key of c so the notes around it will differ now because now i'm playing because now i'm constructing it from the key of g not all the notes in the key of g are the same as the key of c but the three notes that we're building the chord from the g major chord are in both the key of g and c okay so let's let's do this let's select the whole thing and go to the home tab drop down this is going to be equal to i'll just make a g and i'm going to make this uh custom color custom color I don't like the colors that you have provided. I would like a color that is not on the menu. Okay, I hate to be picky, but what you're giving on the menu is for the common folk. And I happen to be special. So I would like something that is not, that is custom, custom to my particular and more sophisticated needs. All right, Excel. And so I'm just gonna make all of these uh, blue and then we're going to say this is going to be here and we'll make this one blue and boom and then this one is going to be here and let's make this one blue and okay and uno base mas custom blue boom so we have we have different shapes that we'll see when we'll do the comparison i'll show them later when we get into the future presentations but we're still folk if we focused on this first three frets we'll still see that although the shape is different than the shape we saw before if i compare this shape for example to this shape it's not the same shape it has similar notes some notes in common but not all of them but some of the notes in common will, of course, be these three notes. So let's do that. Let's select this whole thing and then say conditional formatting, put the three notes on top of it. The G now constructing from the one position is green. And then the B is red. And then the D is yellow, just like oldie was. Oldie yellow, old yellow. All right, and then it could be a young yeller too. That also sounds good. I had a young yeller, but then the young yeller got old. I used to call him young yeller, young yeller, but then he got old and I had to change his name to old yeller, old yeller. Anyways, we'll t so now we've, that's gonna be our starting point. So now we'll talk about this more in future presentations, thinking about how we can map this out and looking at the relative uh, positions for these items.